The original most wanted used to be one of my most complimented fragrances and it's time for me to check out the brand new most wanted parfum. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. Make sure you hit that subscribe right now and that notification bell if you are brand new to my channel and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. So in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at Azaro, the most wanted parfum. Some of the notes in Azaro, the most wanted parfum are ginger, woody notes and bourbon vanilla. So what does it smell like? The most wanted parfum opens up with a dose of ginger. It has that sort of a spicy brightness that ginger has, but I also feel there's something else in the opening. I honestly don't know what it could be, but there's this almost tangy sweetness going on so I'm thinking some sort of a sweet citrus or something slightly fruity. So there's definitely a prominent ginger at the top but it feels like there's something slightly bright and something sweet along with it. The opening to me is basically that ginger with its spiciness together with a slight hint of brightness and a dose of sweetness. And to me it's a smooth and very easy to like opening. Just a few minutes into the dry run that initial dose of ginger starts to soften up and gets even smoother and the sweet side of the scent gets more prominent. The opening is nice but this is when it starts to get interesting. The whole thing starts to turn into something a bit warmer, definitely fuller, more round and sweeter. The sweetness to me is vanillic with a bit of toffee from the original. There's a difference though. To me the toffee is softer in here, slightly less sweet and it basically creates nuance and makes the vanilla more exciting. So at least to my nose this part of the dry run is mostly about slightly warm and round vanilla with a bit of sweet creamy toffee. It's sweet but not over overly sweet in any way and it's got a bit of ginger at the top. As it heads further into the dry run it essentially becomes a woody sweet affair where the focus is on that same vanilla toffee combo together with something woody. To my nose it's really not a super complicated scent but just like the most wanted it works extremely well. All in all it's essentially a smooth sweet and woody scent that's dominated by woodiness and vanilla backed up by a bit of toffee. Just like the original it's quite well balanced and not too sweet not too heavy or too much anything but sexy. So how do I feel when I wear the most wanted parfum? The original gave me and those around me an extremely sexy and seductive vibe and this is no different. It feels a bit darker, smoother, almost a bit sexier and definitely with a slightly more of an elegant and slightly more mature vibe over it compared to the original. So what about compliments and reactions from others? I only had this for a very short period of time but I did get a compliment on my very first day of wearing it. The original used to be one of my absolute favorite dating fragrances and has landed me so many compliments and I believe this one will as well. So what about the performance? With about 8 to 12 sprays I get pretty good projection for at least 3 to 6 hours and it stays on my skin for quite some time. Performance is solid and people seem to pick up on it when I'm out socializing. But I do not feel it's a room filler so performance is solid but not beast mode. I do want to highlight something else when it comes to the performance. It has a fantastic fantastic scent trail and when you are out and pass people by chances are they will get away from that scent trail and react to it. So when should you use this fragrance? So it's woody with a sweet side that's mostly all about vanilla with a bit of toffee. It's not too warm, it's definitely not too heavy, too deep or too sweet. Which to me makes it quite versatile for it being this kind of scent. It's also very much a very likable kind of scent which in combination with the scent character makes it as good to use both formally and casually. Using to work and you will charm your co-workers. Definitely and I really mean it. Use it for your next date or when you go out with your friends. It's a scent that will shine the most during fall, winter and spring. But I can't wait to use it next summer on those night outs when the weather has cooled down a bit. So who should buy the most wanted parfum? If you are a bit like me in that you absolutely love the original then I feel you will most likely enjoy it as well. It has some similarities but it also feels different. The vibe is still very much that sexy and seductive one though. If you like woody and sweet sense then this might be something for you especially if you enjoy the scent of vanilla. Do not get it if you don't enjoy woody and sweet scents. With that said I do feel this is a scent every man should at least try. So if you have the chance go to your nearest fragrance store and try it out. So how am I going to rate this fragrance? I love the original most wanted and this is very much a fantastic scent as well. It's definitely a compliment Gary. And I have a feeling it might just end up being an even more attractive scent to others than the 
the original. The performance is good enough to get me noticed and above all I just like the way it makes me feel. I enjoy it a lot and I will no doubt use it a lot. Especially as a date night scent and when going out. I'm going to give Azaro the most wanted parfum a solid 9. It's not a perfect wrapper but it smells pretty damn good and it's definitely another banger from Azaro. So how do you feel about Azaro the most wanted parfum? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Comment. Please like this video. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you check out the videos over there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Make sure you hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.